Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix needs attention issue to Google Ads conversion. So without further delay, let's begin learning. By showing need attention error, the reason is we have only set up basic conversion, not set up enhanced. That's why showing this error about enhanced conversion. Enhanced conversion is a feature that can improve the accuracy of your conversion measurement. It supplements your existing conversion data by sending hashed first party customer data in a privacy safe way. How we can solve this error? We need a data layer. I have already set up a data layer on my store. I'm using Shopify store. Also, you can do this same thing on WooCommerce or any other custom platform. Just you need user information providing supported data layer. This Google Tag Manager is connected already my website. If I select the preview, here is my website URL and I will select connect. I have completed a purchase. If I go Tag Assistant Preview Mode, you can see there is a purchase event is fired. If I go on data layer, you can see here is the customer information is showing. Here is the first name, last name, email, phone number, and address, city, state, zip code, everything that is showing. And we have to send this information to Google Ads for fixing this needs attention error. After sending this user information to Google Ads, our setting will be the enhanced conversion tracking. And let's see how to set up enhanced conversion. I will create this variable. Let's see how to create this on Google Tag Manager and this variable will be different it's depend on the data layer and my data layer is provide this information that's why i will use this and now go to google tag manager if i select the variables and again go to google ads documents and i will copy this i create a new variable and i will choose the data layer variable customer email and here is the data layer variable value again i will create for phone again i'll select a new there is the variable name and i'll copy this variable value a variable created easy and i will attach this document on video description box also i have added a data layer code or Shopify store and I have also created uh, some videos about setup Shopify data layer please check it out and I have already created the other variables the first name last name now we need to create a user provide data variable again I will select the new and variable configuration and you will get this user provide data variable and you can see here is the sum field email phone just we have to edit this email variable field and again the phone number again the first name last name is straight city region country the postal code I have added user variables on user provide data. Now just select this and save this. And submit this container and select publish. Now let's test our user provide data is perfectly working or not. Just select the preview. And enter your website URL and select connect. And I will make a purchase. If I select the Google Ads conversion tracking, and you can see here is the showing CSS provide enhanced conversion value. And it's collecting email, phone, address, first name, last name, everything is collecting and sending to Google Ads or enhance. And if I go conversion action on Google Ads conversion page, and if I reload this, it will take time one to three hours or 24 hours max. If everything is okay, the error will be gone. And you can see my error is gone and here is showing the no recent conversion. That's mean the Google Ads enhanced conversion, it's working perfectly. 
Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you found this video useful, show your support by hitting that thumbs up button below. And if you are eager to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics, consider subscribing to my channel. I'm Abir and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, take care. Have a great day.